In this video, we are going to talk about amoebic dysentery, which is a disease which is caused by Entamoeba histolytica, which is a parasite. It causes diarrhea in human body. This diarrhea caused by the Entamoeba histolytica is called amoebic dysentery. <coughs> now we will see the life cycle of the Entamoeba histolytica. This is the food or the drink that gets contaminated by the cyst of Entamoeba histolytica. When we consume the contaminated food or drink, the cyst of Entamoeba gets inside our body. Cyst of Entamoeba histolytica is a non-mobile form, that is, it cannot move. The cyst gets inside our body through our mouth and it travels throughout the gastrointestinal tract of the human body. This is our body and the GI tract starting from the mouth It starts from the mouth and goes through the stomach and reaches the small intestine and the small intestine opens into the large intestine and the large intestine ends in the rectum or the anus. Now the cyst enters through the mouth and grows throughout the stomach, small intestine, large intestine and goes outwards of the body. When it enters the mouth, it is the cyst. But when the cyst crosses the stomach, one cyst gives rise to eight trophozoites. Trophozoites are the mobile form of the endamoeba histolytica. This trophozoite or the mobile form looks like this in the microscope. This is the microscopic view of trophozoid, the mobile form of the Entamoeba histolytica. It looks like this in the microscope. The structure is somehow like it has pseudopodium. The endoplasm, the karyosome, and this is the nuclear membrane. It also shows ingested RBC. These are those RBCs ingested by these trophozoites from our body. Now, when the trophozoite reaches the intestine, it starts multiplying. It multiplies in our colon. Trophozoite, trophozoite multiplies by binary fission. It forms lots of trophozoites in the colon and simultaneously it forms cyst that is the non-mobile form. And the cyst goes out of the body with the feces or the stool. The stool of the infected human contains lots of cyst of Entamoeba histolytica and it again contaminates food or drinks and the cycle goes on. Thus, it can infect another human being. Now, if we zoom into the colon, we can see there are two types of Entamoeba histolytica infection. One is non-invasive and the other is invasive. In case of non-invasive infection, this is the colon lining. These are the epithelial cells of colon. Behind this, the bloodstream is present. And above the lining, there is a mucus line. That is a layer of mucus. In case of non-invasive, the trophozoites glides over the mucus and forms the cyst also. But in case of invasive infection, it does not just glide over the mucus. 
it invades the mucus and also destroys the epithelial cells. Destroying the epithelial cells, the trophozoites gets an entry into our bloodstream. Now, trophozoites are inside our bloodstream. When the trophozoites makes an way into our bloodstream, it causes or it affects lots of our organs, our internal organs. It can affect our lungs or it can affect our liver. In the bloodstream, it can also affect our brain. So the invasive form of this infection is quite dangerous. And in this case, we can find blood in the stool or the feces. Symptoms of amoebic dysentery can be abdominal pain or mucus in the feces. So for pathogenicity, symptoms, treatment, diagnosis and prevention, I have made a written form uh, which I have included in the description. And so if you want to read that, you can click on the link and read it. Have you ever faced this infection? If yes, please tell me in the comment box. Thank you.